Hey everyone, welcome to part 3 of how to make a Roblox exploit. So, uh, last episode, we did this, I removed a few things like the user ID whitelist, you can add that back if you want. Yeah, I know I sound a little dead today, I don't really care, but, uh, basically I removed all of Roblox.h, so, in Solution Explorer, you can see, I didn't really change anything, so, yeah. So, inside of Roblox.h, you just wanna, uh, re-add your includes. So now that you have your includes done, you can just go ahead and go over back into main.c++ and you should be good now. So what you want to do is open IDA, link will be in the description, open Roblox in it, just hit shift F12 to go into strings, just give it a second to load. And once it's loaded, you're finally into Roblox. So what you want to do is type alt T and then enter uh, Lua garbage collector or lua gc it's going to be right under meta table lua gc double click it here it should bring this open and this is for script context so you want to go down a lock down a few locks and then you should see d word ptr negative offset h so this means you're getting close uh you want to go down to the next one which is even bigger now d word ptr minus 28 h down one more and then you should see all of these d word ptrs this is the script context function right here so the actual script context is the very first offset off fff 7 e 8 so all you want is just highlight that copy it bring it into visual studio then do hashtag define uh script context address ox fff 7 e 8 it's going to change uh, next week or whenever Roblox updates. They always change. Uh, they always change a few. They always change a few addresses each time they update. Next, you want to do define uh, JZ OX75 and find no wait that's J. Define JZ OX75 then define JZ OX74. Uh, these are Intel's instructions to move J and Z and then restore J Z. So now what you want to do is make a function. So you can do using namespace st. You don't have to do using namespace st. Just it's easier because it already uses uh the namespace for std. So this is just so you don't have to do like std c out. Yeah, you just do c out. So now what you want to do is make a function, so you can do define, or you could do void, which I'll do for an example, uh, move unsigned integer address. Now inside of this, this is where you're going to uh, define your moves and restores. Well, this is move, and then you can do another void, restore unsigned, unsigned integer address. Uh, now for this, you want to first create a D word to store it in. So I'm just going to do D word store. Then do that for restore word store. Now inside of this, you want to do, you want to first uh, change memory around. Uh, you're going to do that with virtual protect and mem CMP. So you're going to do, so you're going to do virtual protect. Uh, and if you get an error saying virtual protect does not exist, make sure you have windows.h included because it's only in windows as library. So inside of this, you want to do void address five page execute read write and then uh, and store. The and will get the memory address for store. So that's basically how you do it. So that's the first step done. Now we need to actually move the memory since it's been protected by virtual protect. So this is pretty easy. You just do char uh, address equals J and Z. And J and Z is equal to OX75, which is the Intel opcode for moving. Now you just want to put the virtual protect back. So just go ahead and copy this and then Instead of page rewrite execute, just put store without the memory address pointer. And there you go. There's uh, opcode move. Hold on. 
So next, uh, you can just go ahead and copy this, paste it. Instead of J and Z, just put J, Z, and there you go. That's move and restore done. And that's for the protected environment check that Roblox just added last week. So next, what you want to do is you actually want to find uh, Lewis C addresses, which is pretty easy. Uh, you just go back to the strings and then search underscore loaded. Uh, this is for git field. Go into the function, and there should be two calls. The top one, uh, I can't really remember what it was, but it's not git field. You want the second call under loaded. So just double click that, you'll be brought to the actual function, then hit F5 to go into Pseudo code, and you're in here. So Roblox did add a new check recently, which is just another argument inside git field, which is just a character. So what you want to do is just go ahead and copy this address right here. And now inside of this, it's going to be pretty easy. So just go ahead and go down here, find git field address. Now that you have that done, you're going to create an actual function to call git field, which is type def, and make sure it matches up here. So mine is an integer. Gift field is an integer, so type def integer c decal sub well no sub but type def int c decal and this is where its name is going to be so I'm just gonna do Lua git f because why not? And then you're going to put uh, parentheses and inside of this is where your arguments will go. So uh, the Lua state uh, index name and then the security argument. So you can go here and do uh, type def integer Lewis. Uh, that's your Lewis state. Now you can do L state state integer index constant char. What I don't know what to call it. Then char a five or whatever you want. Just call mine secure sec. Why not? Uh, now you want to do l get f get field equals l get field, uh, and then this is where you're going to actually call it get field address. But okay, I'll just go ahead and replace that because why not? Okay, so now this will work almost fine, but the issue is is get field is a protected function inside of Roblox. This is their return check function, which if you don't get around return check, it's going to shut your client down. So it's not memory check, it's just called ret check. I'm pretty sure you've heard of it. So you also need to do another thing for bypassing a check on uh, the addresses, which is just an ASLR bypass. So you can do all right, ASLR under namespace SE, fine. It ASLR address inside the function address plus the maximum memory plus d word get module handle so that's aslr so you can do uh instead of this aslr and now you actually want to bypass return check which i already have you can just copy and paste it like i did it's eternals ret check so you should do it under move and restore, and then there's ret check. It's just called unprotect. Uh, you're going to do unprotect ASLR your address. So now git field is almost done. So you should probably rename it to like a git field like I did in Crystal. Uh, and do void git field l state state integer index and constant char. What? This is just to keep classic git field there, which you'd probably do if you already have an exploit written and you don't want to change everything. It's pretty easy. Now, Roblox is Lua D raw and protected, which is where the new protected environment check is. It is uh, 7 4 bed 7. Well, I should go down to where it is, but that's the new check address, so. It's going to update weekly. I might leave a method to get it in the description, but it's just an EIP of raw and protected. So what you're going to do inside of git field is 
move OX74 bed 7, which is the address, move it out of the way, call get field A get field state index index what, and then for the check I just put 1 like Roblox did, so. So now that you don't have memory check shutting you down, you need to do restore OX74 bed 7. So there you go. I hope you guys enjoyed and see you next tutorial. Bye.